All oh, right, hello everyone. My name is Sigflup Sinislabel, and uh, also known as Assembly Assembly. And in this episode, I'm going to do my first tutorial. Yay! <laughs> so this tutorial is going to be on Open LDAP. Uh, we're going to set up an Open LDAP server. We're going to add some user credentials, and then we're going to set up a client uh, so that you can log in like a normal system, like a normal way you log in, uh, but you use the LDAP entry instead. So this is going to be in three parts. Uh, part one is going to be setting up the LDAP server. This is OpenBSD 5.3 and a fresh install. Next part, we're going probably the next day, uh, the next part will give me something to do for three days. Uh, the next part will be setting up, adding user credentials. And the part after that, it will be setting up the client. So let's go ahead and open up an next term. Um, I don't have too many packages installed. The only thing I have installed really is FFmpeg. And uh, these are all the dependencies for FFmpeg. What we want to do is install two packages. So let's export a repo path. Okay, first thing we want is open LDAP client. has a dependency. Um, I say option zero for the dependency. All right, and then after that we want to um, add open LDAP server. Option one. All right, as you can see, it installed a starting script in rc.d. That will be hand come in handy later. Uh, for now, we're just going to configure a couple of things. Uh, you'll see that um, that installation populated a directory called etsy open LDAP. That contains a few things. Uh, it contains two configuration files. Um, open LDAP is, um, works with a library and the clients are, are linked to this library, and the library references this configuration file, kind of like resolve.conf. And then we have a server that um, references this configuration file. So let's uh, look at the, oh, I gotta install Vim, hold on a second. And I gotta turn that bell off, geez. Uh, so let's install Vim here. Like I said, this is my first tutorial, so <laughs> it's going all right so far. Uh, bear with me while I install my editor here. All right, now we can edit things with a proper editor. So we want to edit the library configuration. We want a base and a URI. I'm not exactly sure why it's called URI, but it is a URL. We want a base of sigflup.org, that's my domain. And the LDAP server is ldapt.sigflup.org. We want to get rid of these. And that's it for the client. That's our entire client configuration. Let me just uh, go on a tangent here. I don't think uh, ldapt.sigflup.org references anything. Uh, see, can't find ldapt. So what we want to do is add that in our host file as the loopback interface. So now we can access SIGFLUP, vanelda.sigflup.org. Uh, normally you want this in your DNS server. I'm not gonna set up a DNS server in this tutorial because we're just talking about LDAP. But now that we got that out of the way, uh, we 
configure our server. So open the server configuration. Everything looks good here. We, um, looks good. We want um, our domain here. And uh, I usually change manager to admin. Uh, I like admin a little bit better. Sigflop.org. All right, so our password right now is secret. We want to change that. So we run slap password and uh, echo the um, and pipe the output to temp slash out. And in standard error, it'll ask us for a password. Um, so let's just call our password secret. And uh, bring that into our file. We got the root pass password. And there you go. That's a SHA hash of the password we just entered. And uh, our server is about ready. I believe our server is about ready. Um, first thing we want to do is install a directory owned by OpenLDAPT. LDAPT. And there run OpenLDAPT. That's because the server puts its uh, runtime PID in there, and uh, so we want that, that installed. We can type slap test to test our configuration file. It ran. Uh, it's um, it's good, so that's that's a very good. Why don't we manually start our LDAP server? By running it manually with a debug level of 256. Uh, user open LDAP and group open LDAP. Server started. All right, we got a server going. Now let's issue an LDAP search query just to see if it works. Just for anything, really. Yay, so we got a result out of it. Our, our server's running. Now, close our server. Uh, what we want to do is run that um, run that um, natively, not natively, on boot. So we edit our rc.local, rc.comp.local, and add in some flags for it. Slab D flags equals dash four dash u open LDAP open LDAP. Now this is configuring out with, without SSL. We'll configure it with SSL in a second here. So we want to go to rc.d. I'm sorry, we want to go to rc. And you'll see that there is no slap d um, configuration in there. So we want to put it somewhere by local daemons. Um, So I just searched for um, XDM because I know that's a local daemon. And uh, we're starting local daemon. So you put slab D in there. And it should start on boot. Uh, since we're not going to reboot in this episode, I just want to start it manually. Alright, that's our, that's our server. See if it's running, and it's running. So that should start up the next time. So what we want to do now is set up our public key infrastructure, which uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, to do that, we need to install a couple of things. Uh, well, just one thing. Um, a directory. Mode 700.
Make sure the directory SSL and private exists in our configuration. Now you'll want to make a, um, a root cert. This is X509. Export our private key to there and our cert to open LDAP SSL. CA.cert. All right, now we need to enter cert information. We are from the US. This is Minnesota. Minneapolis. Organization is called SIGFLUP. This is the LDAP Certificate Authority. Um, and our server is ldap.sigflup.org. No email address. So that's all well and good. Now we want to make a cert for our server. Make sure our server key is in SSL slash private for open LDAP. And we'll keep our private, we'll keep our server cert there as well. Hope I typed that right. So again, we're from the US, we're from Minnesota, Minneapolis, the beautiful city of Minneapolis where SIGFLUP is from, and this is an LDAP server cert. Uh, and again, the server is ldap.sigflup.org. No password. Uh, so that's good. Now we want to sign it. So open SSL x509. Sign our server cert. And put the sign cert in just slash SSL. And our certificate authority. And our private key. All right, that's signed that. So now we want to repeat the process for our client cert. A lot of typing, SSL is. from the US, Minnesota.